Greetings, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Tuesday, April the 12th. And for all you fans that miss the good old days of Farm Sim 19, when a John Deere was over the top with slots and ate up all your memory, well, those days can be relived with the John Deere 7720 series by Mo6R. <coughs> yes, this beauty here can be yours for only 47.9 megabytes to download and 21 slots. <laughs> All kidding aside, uh, that is seriously what it is. 47.9 megabytes and 21 slots. Um, yeah, so let's go see what all the hubbub is about. <clears throat> It'll be in medium tractors. And way down here, there it is, a 7020. The John Deere 7020 series. <clears throat> uh, so it's... Uh, uh, up to 220 horsepower, 543 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour, 11.3 tons, and yes, 21 slots. Now, where are all these slots going, or why are they there? I don't know, because <clears throat> we have some weight options. A big weight option, or a front link. Nice. What the... That the, the extra lights are on there, so that's it's like okay. Three three point links, nice. Um, tires: Trailborg Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bernstein, and Trailborg. They all have exactly the same tire options. There's no narrows. They're all the same. Uh, design: Beacon or no Beacon? Okay. Uh, engine setup, 7720, uh, 170 horsepower. The 7820, for 200, uh, at uh, 204 horsepower for $10,500 extra. <clears throat> the 7920, at 220 horsepower, plus $18,000 extra. So, for a grand total of $278,500, you can have this. And, uh, well, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so there must be a whole lot of options when you jump in here to, for all those slots and that memory. And you can open the back window. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in on that feature. Wow. Exciting, huh? Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, it's a John Deere tractor that um, is 220 horsepower. Uh, this is the 7720. It's nice. We got lots of John Deere tractors right now, much less than this. Um, all right. Well, anyways, how does it perform? <clears throat> well, um, we have this little fella plowing. Uh, the plow is a 220 horsepower uh, model and seems to be doing a good job. We also have this fellow running a cultivator. Not a lot of cultivators around that, uh, well, base game anyways, but he's doing a fine job, as you can see. Not struggling. It's that's that cultivator is very close to that 220 mark. Um, and over here, way over here, oh, he's almost done. We got this one pulling something that's way bigger than he should. Uh, let's get in him here. Um, so it's not bad. <clears throat> Um, he's not pulling it up to speed, but not a lot of tractors actually do. It's a very large uh, cultivator, disker actually. Um, but it performs pretty good. Um, it's rated to 11 miles per hour. He doesn't get near that, about half that. 
I think the maximum speed he can get up to is, uh, well, he pretty much gets up right up to it. Six miles an hour. That's it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Seven. Seven. Seven miles per hour. <laughs> Not too bad. I, I mean, of course, I do crazy things like that. Make them pull something way too big. And he's doing all right. Nine miles per hour. Is that uh, what that's supposed to do? Uh, lights. Yeah, lights. Do, do, do. Lights. As I said, beacons. Signal. Interior. Looks very John Deere-like. Um, yeah. And, um, I mean, it's well done. So... A little bit of sarcasm there with the uh, slot count and the uh, megabytes. But if you really have to have this one, then go for it. It's here. It's good. It works as it should. I'm Lonely Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. Till next time, bye for now.